I'm sorry I'm not slapping hands. I'm just touching a turtle. Oh, hey, by the way, look at who's here. He just woke up. Look at this beautiful. Oh, I'm so jealous, dude. I used to have cool hair, too. Now it just grows on my face, Mom. This is Camp Ken. All right, what's going on, everybody? I'm hanging out here at Aqualand. I'm in St. Charles, Illinois. I've been already bothering this man here. It's Ed. You know Ed. You love him. Uh, we've been talking about the pond, and I am at ground zero for water gardening. I am at the nerve center of all things aquascape. Uh, so I'm really excited to be here because this weekend, the video you're about to see is basically the kickoff to their 2019 pond season. They have this big, giant, uh, well, what is it like? A consumer event called? Water Garden Weekend. There you go. It's Water Garden Weekend. They brought me on up. I'm really excited to be here. We got a bunch of people hanging out and Greg wanted me to get everybody coming on in. So he's giving his team a little bit of a heads up. Well, that's Greg doing his thing. But I'm excited because this is really neat, man. Look at all these folks just kind of hanging out, getting ready to come on in and get their water garden on. So today's video, I'm gonna show you everything there is to be seen here at Aqualand. And honestly, guys, if you love water gardening, if you love turtles, reptiles, fish, you're gonna wanna see this video because this place is amazing. But check this out. So they have all kinds of aquatic plants that you can purchase. Uh, some of these are from the area. Others are, of course, tropical. And basically what happens is uh, as the season progresses, these plants will die and then they'll just replant next year. But uh, so much. Hey, look, they got their own version of the Sarlacc patch. Ha! These are, of course, some carnivorous plants. I'll tell you what, guys, I've been getting more and more into the plants because they add just another dynamic to the pond and the ecosystem and places for the animals to hide. Right now, I want to show you what people see when they come to Aquascape, to the to Aqualand, rather. Uh, let's go look at their pond and explore it here for a little bit. Oh, that's a pretty cool Jeep, by the way. Wow, that thing's pretty overlanded out. But how about this? This is the Aquas, the Aqualand <laughs> Pond. Now, this is an actual giant recreation pond. They actually swim in here. They have events here. Uh, in a little while, I'll bring you guys over to the koi and the different fish so you guys can see everything that's going on. But look at this. It's early in the season. It's only May. And look at how crystal clear that water is. In the end of June, there's just going to be so much greenery and life. Look at the size of that koi. Let's look at this. You can even... Whoa, whoa. Okay, how about a little bog? And then this giant reservoir. This place is insane. But this isn't even the craziest part of Aqualand. And look at this waterfall. Of course, good old Ed Ballou designed this. It is a massive, massive undertaking. All these boulders were placed and it just looks as though it's been here forever. But check this out. We walk through this path, just a beautiful garden path that takes you into a grotto and you get to kind of hang out. Man, I wonder. This just gives you so many ideas. Can't you imagine something like this with reptiles, some lizards and snakes living on it? That would make me so psyched. But look at this, everybody. We are now inside the waterfall here. Is that amazing? I mean, this just shows you guys what is possible with imagination and working with nature. I love the rock work. Gosh. We haven't even talked to Greg yet. Woo. So, uh, Greg, get over here, man. Yeah. Look at this, guys. I mean, this is in front of Aqualand. This My is your, your giant rec pond. Now, talk to us. What was involved in creating this masterpiece? Okay, so we'll, we're going to actually give you a link to the world's most extreme pond build. So okay. there's a 10-minute video that actually shows the whole All process. All right, so we'll put that in the description of this one. We can show you guys just how this was built, but it's it's gorgeous. Yeah. And as you can see, the guys are having a good time out here. So this was just a retention area. This was just grass and kind of mud. And we, I moved in here in 2006, and we waited until 2008 to design this. I mean, we've got six million pounds of stone that we brought in from the Ozarks for this. No so way. So we had 
250, almost, you know, 300 certified oxygen contractors, and we replaced Pondemonium that year with us coming together and building this. So we had already done the prep work. There's a, in the video you see it, that rock on the right hand side of that waterfall is 47,000 pounds. That was, it was one rock on a truck all the way from the Ozarks. Oh my went. God. It took two giant cats to put it together. So, and then, and, and you've been in the grotto there, right? Yes, the you grotto know, the is inside, beautiful. it just shows all that was put by hand. And so, you know, this is what it's supposed to be used for, just having fun. These are my, my, my kids and my, their, their friends. That really no one could swim in it unless I'm here and swimming with them or hanging out with them. And then so, but I just got these new slides and these new stuff from a uh, thing. I got a trampoline and this is exactly what it's supposed to be. I want kids outside in nature interacting and it's way better than a, a swimming pool because you put your mask on and you swim with the fish. I got an underwater cave in there you can swim through. I got scuba tanks you can put on scuba tanks. It's just a paradise. I gotta tell you, man, Aqualand is totally a, uh, it's a dream for people that like to get dirty and, and the best possible way with all the, the, the electric scooters and skateboards oh, yeah. and it's a fun place to work I'm sure but look, just look, look, look at them <laughs> that's what they should be doing I these guys it. are out of their minds because it's only the beginning of May and that water is cold let me tell you you won't find me in this water but anyhow it's just a gorgeous gorgeous pond beautiful water feature and uh, just an amazing place and it really shows you what's possible when you put your mind to something you know i gotta hand it to greg man he followed his passion he followed his dream but he worked his butt off to create this place so hats off to him it is just spectacular <laughs> what's going on everybody so there's so much to aqualand oh there's so much to aqualand and uh let me show you what's going on here this is uh this is what you get when you hang out with greg Greg's got a lot of fun stuff here. Uh, this is a boosted board, it's an electric skateboard. I wanted to show you guys just what the warehouse looks like. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh I was not a skateboarder, folks. I almost died. Oh, that's awesome. Let's go. Check out this warehouse, though. It is filled with Aquascape products. Uh, and I have to mention also, the roof of this place is actually a giant prairie. The largest green roof, green roof, roof, roof in North America. Uh, but this is so much fun. I love being here and getting uh, just a, well, look at me. I mean, I'm having a good time here. Let's go this way. I mean, I'm wearing these boots. They're not exactly the best. What do we got? We got, man, we got frog fountains. We got pumps. We got all kinds of Aquascape products. How fun. Oh my God, this is awesome. All right, before we even get into Aqualand, here at Water Garden Weekend, they also have an incredible assortment of koi and different fish that you can stock your pond with. And this is really cool. All the employees are here helping folks out. It's just a really amazing weekend they give back to the customers by offering them, oh look at this guys, bullfrog tadpoles. That is awesome, some bullfrog tadpoles. Who doesn't love the sounds of bullfrogs in the spring? Mud puppies, water dogs rather. And these guys are really, really a cool species of salamander or newt that hasn't fully developed. Uh, they just stay in their larval state. They never fully metamorphosize and they have those amazing gills that you can see right there. That is awesome. Little water dogs. And they eat these minnows. Cool, wow, look at that beautiful, beautiful koi. And these are a temperate species. We're up here in Chicago. These fish will do well here in the winter. Uh, man, oh, and, and lurking right there as always. There's the lurker. He just woke up, so I don't know how excited he is right now. How you doing, man? Hey, right. you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna show you in this video why he's so sleepy because we, we need to race each other, I yes. think. Yes, oh yeah. You're gonna like Warehouse this, guys. when it's wide open. Bro. Yeah, these guys have no idea how cool Aqualand really is, oh, no. Paul. Not until uh, you experience it. I got in around 10.30 last night. He was already here for a few hours. He started showing me the lay of the land. Now, I've been here once before, but, but not with somebody I can play with. Anyway, awesome. it's awesome. All these fish. So beautiful. Each tub is filled with just beautiful different variety of koi. But what I want to do now 
is on a normal day, you're gonna come to Aqualand and this is what you're gonna see when you walk through the front doors. Uh, the first time I came here was about a year ago and I just was impressed. Uh, these guys are serious. So you walk right through these front doors and this is their indoor showroom. Beautiful water features. And I don't know about you guys, but this might be one of my favorite ponds. How cool is that? We've got some Florida red bellies, different cooters, some melanistic cooters. That's an old one. You can see it's all dark. This this oh. tourist, but they're they're completely tame. There's a red belly slider. Oh my gosh. And then there's some yellow bellies over there. And how about this albino? A nice albino. Did you have an escapee? Yeah. 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 Look at this little guy. It's a it's an eastern box turtle. Oh my gosh. Actually. This is beautiful. Hey, I'll show you. This is the kind of turtle that I grew up with. Give it a little dunk. This is the kind of turtle I grew up with. You could really see eastern box turtles have become more and more rare in their range. So, awesome. And how about an albino red-eared slider? I know you guys will dig that. So, Greg's got a little bit of everything, but look at just, look, we got turtles up here. That is awesome. And this is all inside Aqualand. Look at this. So there's so many things like it's definitely yeah. all about what you want to yeah. uh, So I, I'm really excited because Greg pretty much gives me carte blanche. I can go wherever I want. I can stand anywhere I'd like. I just love being a part of this Aquascape family. The tribe, as they say. How about some koi in here? Amazing. All the fish are obviously tame, but look at these features and this gives you an idea of what is possible with water gardening. Look guys, obviously I'm a geek. Uh, you know that Aquascape has been really good to me, but what I love about this relationship we built is it makes sense. Uh, they've been really helping transform Camp Kennan uh, and helping me realize my dreams as far as it pertains to how we keep our animals. Now, obviously guys, I know some of you might think this is out of reach, but I promise it's not. Um, you can go with different sizes. Start small, learn to do your own pond. They have build a pond days here. If you live in the Midwest and you can get up and kind of see what they're up to here at Aqualand, you can learn how to build this stuff. It's not out of reach, guys. Just put your mind to it and you can yourself learn how to do these amazing water features. So that's the showroom. All right, there it is. But now let's just look at the beginnings of Greg's little zoo here. So Greg's actually starting things off now. Uh, we've got some African cichlids here and Greg has big, big plans for this section. We're actually inside the Aquascape warehouse. It is massive. No, you could go by homie, no problem, kiddo. So, uh, I don't know why I said homie. Hmm. Back to my hip hop days. I used to break dance. It's the truth. See, I used to pop. Anyway, uh, how about some angelfish? Awesome. My gosh, look at that. So beautiful. I don't know if you've seen this little guy on video before, but this is his Asian water monitor that Jay from Prehistoric Pets gave him last year. It was tiny. Look at how big this guy is now. He's about three foot long, maybe, yeah, about three foot, I think. And he's got this really cool habitat, beautiful water to swim in and soak in. But let's go look at what Greg also brought in for today only, Lucas. Lucas? Yes. Yes. All right, I want to make sure I got your name right. So check it out. What's the name of your uh, traveling circus of reptiles? Man? We are Cold-Blooded Parties. There you go. Yeah. And so you guys do parties all over the Midwest? Uh, all over Chicagoland area. Okay. Uh, we try to stay Northern Illinois, Southern Wisconsin. Very cool. But yeah, and anywhere and everywhere. We'll all go right, there. man, very cool. So who do we got here? Talk to me about this little guy. All right, so this is Dog. Uh, Dog is a black and white tegu. May I touch? Absolutely. Very cool, man. He's very tame. So he's five years old and he is, he lives up to his name. He's our dog. He's your scaly dog. Yeah, huh? he's a big puppy. Yeah, I have Guapo and Lola are my two scaly dogs. They're super, super tame. 
And that just is because you got to work with these animals yeah, and handle them. How long have you had this animal? We've had him about a year and a half now. Okay. Yep. So this came from someone who uh, worked with him before? Or? Yeah, it came How'd from he get a buddy so of mine. Okay. Um, he, he got it from a hatchling and from day one he spent every day with him, working with him and just ended up being a wonderful animal. And unfortunately he couldn't, uh, couldn't take care of him anymore and knew that we would get use out of him. The kids would. Very cool. Kids would love him. So, so. he's got a second chance now. Yep. Oh snap, I didn't even see this. Ooh, <laughs> this they're related, by the way. If you look, there's some relation between the Demapolis, I don't know, the, the genus, right? The Demapolis, uh, Tegus, and Draco what is it, Dracona? Yeah. Yeah, Dracona something or other. Yeah. One of you guys is gonna correct me, so go ahead in the comments. <laughs> Tell me what the Latin is on the Cayman lizard. These guys are awesome, man. This is a tame one, too. Yeah, you can pet them. I can? Yeah, awesome. his name is Drax. I, Drax, that is so cool. Like the guard, may I hold him? Yeah, go like for it. Like the guardian of the galaxy, Drax. This is awesome! The snail destroyer. This snail destroyer. So when you guys feed this dude, what are you, how are you uh, acquiring the uh, snails? I, uh, um, I'm from Crosstown Exotics. Okay, very We're cool. Friends with, uh, That's Luke cool. Is. Yeah, he said that. Yeah. Yep. Go ahead, tell, shout um, it out, brother. Tell everyone we, what's uh, going on. Uh, escargot. So I ordered cans of escargot. Okay. And then basically I chopped that up, mix it in with uh, Missouri Croc Diet after it's softened, and I've just got it portioned out. So I dump it in uh, after it's thawed, and he goes to town. But he'll also take. Uh, he's taking pinkies for me here and there, um, and mussels. Uh, awesome. He's done mussels and clam meat. That but is yeah, fantastic. He's been pretty he good. looks amazing. Thank this you. This is a species I would love to get down at the camp. They do well. They're aquatic. Um, it's something that that's a bucket list species for me. I just think they're very interesting. Um, I was at Zoo Miami a few years back, and they had a really really cool habitat set up for these guys. Because as you guys know, follow the channel. I love placing animals in as naturalistic yeah. a habitat as possible. They're interesting because they're going to be aquatic, but they'll come out and bask yeah. and climb. I've got them almost set up like a turtle. You know, he's got yeah. most of the tanks water with a bunch of uh, areas to kind of get out and bask. But yeah, most of it just hanging out like just like an alligator would with his yeah. nose above, you know, the water. So incredible. And they yeah. have a, the, the reason they call them Cayman lizard is because of these really uh, are there osteoderms in here. I'm not 100% on yeah, that. I've Yeah, but never if you that feel up. them, guys, they're like definitely a keratinous uh, protrusion on the back, and that's for protection. Um, that is an animal that, you know, lives in South America where it ain't easy to live. Exactly. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So you got to be tough, and uh, you got to be, uh, you got to have skin tough. I mean, my uh, Amazonian water lilies are tough. Oh, now, those things cool. got thorns on them, and well, <laughs> it makes sense. All right, and finally here, boom. Caitlin, right? Yes. All right, I remembered your name. Good deal. <laughs> I'm not good at that sometimes. It looks like we have a garter snake. This is a beautiful garter snake. I'm just kidding. <laughs> That's awesome, man. A little berm. This um, is beast. That is beast. Uh, you know, the funny thing about um, this is, you you know, I have buttercup, and that's my uh, female berm. She's an albino. But I've always just wanted a natural colored They're berm. They're beautiful. They're really Absolutely. just awesome. You know, so... It's a, this is a male, right? Yes. Okay, so he's not going to get quite as big as our buttercup, but that is still a beautiful animal. And you guys are doing a great job. They're here basically for the customers to just get to interact with some incredible animals. As you know, Greg, the owner of Aquascape, loves reptiles. That's what led him to me. Uh, he enjoyed watching our videos and wanted to get involved. So as more and more people file out, this is the only way they're going to be getting out of uh, Water Garden Weekend. they got to run the reptile gauntlet. And, uh, well... I hope they're not afraid of snakes, but if anyone can win them over, it's going to be beast. All right. All right, so there's a quick tour of Aqualand, guys. That is Aqualand in a nutshell. There's still so much more that goes on here, so I'm sure we're going to have some more fun videos for you. I'm going to throw them up on the Army channel to see more of the hijinks that goes on around Aqualand during Water Garden Weekend. So if you guys like these videos, like and subscribe. Also, head on over to Aquascape and check them out. I really think it would be important for you guys to check them out so you can learn how to build really cool habitats for your animals. All right, everyone. Thanks so much. We'll see you soon. She is a salmon pink bird eater. Okay. Oh, this is a bird eater. But that yep. is a type of tarantula, isn't it? Yes. Yes, right. it is. Are these guys from 